Did you know that approximately 40% of food waste happens at home? Yeah. That's why Hellman's is on a mission to make taste, not waste, with some amazing recipes to help inspire you to fight food waste at home. Hellman's is the magical ingredient that will turn what you've already got in your kitchen into something delicious. Use leftovers to make recipes like grilled chicken street tacos with creamy chipotle mayo or savory potato salad. It was incredible to see what I could whip up in the kitchen using ingredients I already had on hand. And even some I'd forgotten about. Visit Hellman's.com for more delicious recipes and make the most out of the food in your fridge with Hellman's. Millions of Americans are getting back to work. CareerBuilder calls it the great rehire. And we want to help you get the best jobs before everyone else. CareerBuilder gives you the competitive edge to get the job you want, at the salary you want, with the benefits you want. We even send job alerts so your perfect job lands right in your inbox. Go to careerbuilder.com today or get left with whatever jobs are left. Find your next job fast at careerbuilder.com. This episode of Stuff You Missed in History Class is brought to you by Stem and Root. Stem and Root is a new brand of natural supplements for common health concerns. So things like occasional sleeplessness or daily stress, being a little achy because of overexertion or mental clarity. Stem and Root is backed by more than 100 clinical trials on ingredients and products. Shop now on Amazon for 10% off. Use code HISTORY10. This statement has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Thanks for listening to the Odd Couple Podcast. Be sure to check us out live every weekday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, 4 to 7 Pacific on Fox Sports Radio. Find your local station for the Odd Couple at foxsportsradio.com or stream us live every day on the iHeartRadio app by searching FSR. You're listening to Fox Sports Radio. Rob Parker, along with TJ Hushmanzada, the former wow. All Pro tight end, uh, wide receiver, I should say, uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, and he's filling in for Chris Broussard today. And uh, man, we got a great show for you. A lot of uh, football to talk about, some NBA, and uh, of course, tight shirts. Tower of Trivia in the final hour of the program. But first, filling in, Mr. TJ Hushmanzada. What's up, TJ? How are you? Man, Rob, I'm good. Hey, what is today? A, a funky what Friday? What funky kind of- flashback Friday. So gotcha. Alex will be in the crate. He'll play all these old songs from the 70s and whatnot. It's good stuff. All right, the 70s, that's a little before my time, but I got it. I'm old, too. Come on, you man. know, you got an old soul. I already know, just the man, way my that mama, you... my mama used to listen to that music all the time when she right. was drunk, so I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so I'm ready. <laughs> so, so let me ask you this as we go. The holiday weekend for a lot of people, people, you know, getting off work and got the Monday off. And um, the one thing I'll ask you, TJ, is... Uh, you know, what's the big thing? What comes to mind when you think of Labor Day? Is it football? Is it barbecues? Is it the final day of summer? What uh, the f- official end of summer? What What does Labor Day mean to you? For for me, it's uh football is right around the corner. Obviously, we gonna barbecue, but right, I, I I love football, and so it's right around the corner. And so that's the first thing that comes to mind for me is uh. It's right around the corner. It used to be schools right around the corner yep. as well, but now they start school so damn soon now. I mean, they go and they get two months off back at it. Well, but it's, it's good. Cr- I don't understand that for parents too because in New York, I'll say this. We always started school after Labor Day, so get your last vacation in. Don't exactly. have the kids in the classroom in August when it's hot, right? I don't understand why school starts so early. Uh, in New York, it's after Labor Day and until the end of June, and then you got the summer off, all of July, all of August. I don't get it. It should be like that everywhere. At least get these kids some time off. I'm, the You know, school is it's a necessary evil, so to speak. I wish they would teach them how to buy and trade stocks, right. manage a checkbook, do how things about credit? that are going to— How about to, not messing exactly. up your credit, right? There's a lot of things that— 
need to be thrown. I'm with you. I mean, you, they don't teach you any of that stuff, and that should be taught, no doubt. They should in, homework. You don't, Rob. You know how much homework me and my wife do. Oh, I bet. It's I, it's our it's our work. You like guys, keep, them I, in, keep them in school an hour longer. No homework because right. the parents end up doing it. You're like, look at all this. And the, I see these kids with a backpack with six books in it. And I'm just like, wow. And all the homework. That's what all my friends who have kids say is you can't believe how much homework they give these kids. It's like, oh, like ridiculous. Man. So, uh, yeah. So lucky you. You don't have to go through it. I got two babies. I got another 10 years of it. But uh, it is what it is, man. As long as they uh. They're productive, respectful children that grow into productive, respectful adults. That's all I care about. Yeah, and it's all worth it. My last thing real quick before we uh, introduce the Odd Couple crew. For me, it's that you can't wear white after Labor Day. So if you have white pants or anything, <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm what Labor that. Day means to me. <laughs> I don't Is know where that came pants? from. Is you it know, just like, white pants? Yeah, you can wear a white T-shirt, I think, but you can't wear white after Labor Day, white is supposed to be like a summer color only. Like, if you ever see, I know you've seen teammates uh, who are like country bumpkins, ex- ex- uh, excuse my, my slang here, but you know what I mean, who wear a white suit in uh, November, you know what I mean, on a road trip. Like, they, they just have no concept of it. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm good then with your... Uh no Your white itinerary, after Day. itinerary for dressing. I I don't even own white pants. I don't believe I own a white suit any longer. Right. So yeah, TJ good to go with so that. So you're good to go. Yeah, I'm good to go. All right, it is the Odd Couple coming to you live from the Fox Sports Radio studios. Let's welcome in the Odd Couple crew. TJ, we wouldn't be able to do this fine radio program without him. Of course, Rob G is our able body producer. Alex our engineer and on the ones and the twos, what uh, Tom Crady today on a funky flashback Friday. And of course, the best in the business at the anchor desk, Mr. Steve DeSager, who'll keep us updated throughout the program. But, but here, let's start here. And TJ, Tom Brady had some comments about how the rules are slanted in the NFL, basically to make uh, offense better. We saw a change about 10 or 12 years ago uh, when they just, uh, you know, protected the quarterback and protected the wide receiver and, you know, the DBs and the defense was at uh, are being held back basically and can't do what they used to do. And you played in the era when wide receivers used to get popped and quarterbacks were getting knocked out of games all the time. And, and now they've softened everything for the offense because they want more points. They believe that's what fans want. Let's hear Tom Brady and then TJ. I want to hear your thoughts. I think the one thing about football that's changed over the years, which I think is really hard for someone like me who's played a long time to watch, is like there, it's not being taught the right way. Like a quarterback should only throw the ball to certain places because your receiver is in danger of getting hit. For example, when I used to play against Ray Lewis, I wouldn't throw the ball to the middle <laughs> of the field because he would – he he'd go after you and he would hit like and we didn't always have the biggest receivers but he would hit him and knock him out of the game and now any every hard hit is a penalty on the defense so i feel like they penalize defensive players for offensive mistakes tj your thoughts from tom brady i agree with him and brady if i had been in new england you could have thrown across the middle because i wasn't afraid to take those hits just fyi right hey if you were playing now man you'd be uh You'd be living in Beverly Hills with, with the yeah. money you make. You know what I'm I've saying? Al- I've always said, I mean, anybody that's played in the era of before these rules, we're, we're going to think that way. But the problem I have, I, I don't mind so much making the game as safe as possible. I don't mind that. I, I'm with you on that. I, Safety's I, I, I good. I don't want nobody's yes. head to come off. Yes, on the field. I, don't, I don't mind that. So some of the rules that have been implemented have been the right rules. The problem that I have is this. If I'm an offensive player and I have the ball, when I get ready to get hit naturally, I'm going to lower my center of gravity. I'm going to drop my body. The defender is running at me full speed downhill. He's going to drop his body. If I drop my body and he drops his, um, it's probably going to be some helmet-to-helmet contact. But I drop the curl up to brace for that. He can't change that. In order to lead with my shoulder, my head has to drop. My head is going to drop if I'm leading with my shoulder. 
Mm-hmm. And so certain things, like, they should not be penalties. Like, you go back to what Brady said about the Justin Fields hit. I was watching that game live. It was to his right side. I'm, there's no way Justin Fields – the line just missed the block. They didn't get the protection call, whatever it was. At least that's what I believe. Right, that's what you saw. And I don't know anybody that's a defensive player – that's going to tackle Justin Fields and then just go up and just grab him. You're trying to force a fumble or whatever. Justin Fields is an athletic big dude for people to have. This dude legs is tree trunks. You go in there half-stepping if you want to. And, and so, like, things of that nature, I agree with Brady. And a lot of people have been saying this. They have to figure out a happy medium. Like, again, a lot of these rules are – implemented and it's and it's for the right thing it's the right but, cause player safety but a lot of this he's 100 percent right quarterbacks don't throw your receiver into danger well, I know they when call it, happened it, to me, it's a, it was called a hospital pass right that man that, the listen. hospital you wake you can't you thought the quarterback throws you the ball and you wake up in the hospital ray lewis bart scott the entire steelers d i got a i got a slice on my bottom lip like on my chin, chin area I was running a shallow crossing route. I never, ever forget this. We was playing the Ravens. Mm-hmm. I'm running a shallow crossing route, shallow crossing route, four to six yards. I'm in the slot. Ed Reed, as soon as I started coming across the field, this dude is in cover three. If people that don't know football, the cover three safety, middle of the field safety, should not be coming downhill on a crossing route at all, ever, ever, ever. Where should he be? He should be in the where? middle of the field to stop the deep pass because okay. Chad had a deep post. He was wide open for a touchdown. But the read tells the quarterback middle of the field is closed because we have a safety there. Right. As soon as Ed Reed sees me, he just shoots downhill. Carson doesn't throw the post because the pre-snap look. Carson throws me the ball. Ed Reed hits me so damn hard. He split my chin, my tooth. And I had a mouthpiece on. My tooth went like pierced my skin wow. and I was putting my tongue through like my chin lip area. Are you serious? I promise. I still I have a scar to this day. Every time I brush my teeth, I said I think of Air Reed. Wow. And so I went to the sideline, didn't have time to stitch it up because I was going back in the game. They glued it. They glued they glued your, your lip yeah. or your chin? They they glued it. The the close the uh the wound, they glued it. I went back in the game. Man, Ed Reed would have got thrown out in today's game, fined everything. No penalty, no nothing. Nothing. It was – right. It was no, no big deal. Did that glue taste like a horse or no? I'm just guessing. No. Nah, you don't even t- – it's on the outside, so you don't you don't taste none of that. You just right. – you know what, though? It was sore. <laughs> it was so sore for about three, four days. You couldn't eat no salty foods. But you, it would be was, like, right, putting salt on a wound. You yeah, know that, that's right? just the it price was, you pay. And I, I knew I was never afraid to go across the middle. See? I was never afraid to get hit. It didn't bother me. I didn't I, like I, it, I, but I, I wasn't watched scared. Football. You're younger than me, uh, and I watch football. I remember when they put the in-the-grasp rule for quarterbacks, right? Um, because that year, if I remember correctly, like 11 or 12, I could be off a, a quarterback or two, but like 11 or 12 quarterbacks got hurt. Like starting quarterbacks. So they started going like in the grasp. If I grab your jersey, I don't have to bring you down because they didn't want people to, to, you know, hurt the quarterbacks because it was killing the game. And that's where uh, if you ever look at um, uh, Michael Strahan's uh, sack, his all-time, have you ever seen it? Yeah, against Brett Favre. Right, the one way. Remember, he doesn't even really touch him. You remember that? Brett Favre was going down as he seen Strahan coming at him. And that was the sack that, that broke. I mean, like the worst sack to have the record on. Am I right? Like, like it was nothing. It was like that. Even, Brett you can't Favre even put that is on. a dude. Brett Favre's a dude for that. Like, he was like, you know what? I'm going to let you break this record. It's just a sack. Go ahead and get it. Like, right. That's but, kudos to Brett Favre looking out for Strahan. But that's, what, but that's where that whole thing came from. So, yeah. I, I don't agree with Brady on a lot of stuff, but he's right on this one. Uh, this is where the NFL has gone. Uh, and we are going to talk with uh, Glenn Blandino, who is a Fox Sports rule analyst, uh, coming up at the bottom of the hour. Yeah, so we'll get, Dean uh, Blandino, baby. What about the taunting foul? Like, can you, you, you know how the Cowboys defensive tackle just came out and said what he said about Brady, right? 
Yep. You remember years ago when that safety from the Steelers said something leading up to that week when they played New England? Anthony Smith, I believe his name was, or believe his name is, he said something crazy. They played the Patriots. They, the Patriots beat him. Tom Brady found him during the game and was talking so much trash. Do you think the rest would throw a flag on Brady today nope. if he does that? No, nope. I know. Absolutely it, not, right? Right. It, it Why is, is crazy. That it, like, that's taunting. I get, they won't call that on Brady. Right. They, they're it's not going to call that. They, they pick and choose. That's another issue. I agree with you. And the quarterbacks get away with a lot more. They love the quarterbacks. But all right, 877-996-6369 is the telephone number, uh, 877-99 on Fox. And the question is, are all these uh, rule changes in favor of the offense actually a good thing for the NFL? Does that make you want to watch and you love the offense and you're not that big on defense and all that and the hard hits? 877-996-6369. We'll continue that conversation next with you. It is the Odd Couple with TJ Hushmanzada in for Chris Broussard right here on Fox Sports Radio. Hey, TJ, stick and stay America. Be sure to catch live editions of The Odd Couple with Chris Broussard and Rob Parker weekdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on Fox Sports Radio and the iHeartRadio app. Hey, this is Jason McIntyre. Join me every weekday morning on my podcast, Straight Fire with Jason McIntyre. This isn't your typical sports pod pushing the same tired narratives down your throat every day. Straight Fire gives you honest opinions on all the biggest sports headlines, accurate stats to help you win big at the sports book, and all the best guests. Do yourself a favor and listen to Straight Fire with Jason McIntyre on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Summer brings those priceless moments where you could just kick back with some friends and grab a few cold beers. I mean, I love to barbecue. I gets on the grill and I gets busy. Or I like going to the beach with my wife and my kids and just chilling out in the sand, letting the water touch my toes every now and then. And I might even go catch a few waves. And when I come back, of course, I need a refreshing drink. Whatever it is, you deserve more moments to just do you. Where you don't have to pretend you're craving a fancy schmancy drink when you really want something that's great tasting, like a beer that won't fill you up. So when you're craving good vibes and great memories, grab your friends and the beer with taste you can depend on, Miller Lite. In a world of endless scrolling through delivery options, you know what you're getting when you get Miller Lite. Beer. It'll always be the beer for people who like beer. You can depend on that. Miller Lite is the original light beer and has been the light beer with great taste since 1975. And this is what makes it an easy choice. So next time you're getting ready to enjoy cold ones with your crew, go to MillerLite.com forward slash odd couple to find delivery options near you. Or you can pick up some Miller Lite pretty much anywhere they sell beer. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. It's crazy how much we have to pay for outdated, impersonal health care, and even crazier that we all just accept it. It's time to face facts. Health care is backwards. Luckily, there's Forward, a new approach to primary care that's surprisingly personal and refreshingly straightforward. Forward never makes you feel like just another patient. Backed by top-rated doctors and the latest tech, Forward gives you access to personalized care whenever you need it. Using in-depth genetic analysis and real-time blood work, Forward's top-rated doctors provide you with in-depth insights to better understand your genetics, mental, and physical health. They then create custom, easy-to-understand plans to help guide you to achieving long-term health. With Forward, you get unlimited in-person visits with your doctor and access to care anytime via the Forward app, all for one flat monthly fee. It's time to stop accepting backwards health care and start moving your health forward. Visit GoForward.com today to learn more. That's GoForward.com. 
Why is it the best wireless deals require a trade-in? Right now at T-Mobile, we're getting rid of the trade-in headache. Switch and get the epic iPhone 12 with 5G on us. Get it on Magenta Max with unlimited premium data. No trade-in required. Check out this great 4K video I took of us. I even posted it with 5G way out here. That's right, a new iPhone 12 on us. No worrying about having a phone that qualifies. You can keep your current phone or pass it down. Seriously, no trade-in required. Look at this cool photo of my victory dance. Wow, I didn't know you were that flexible. It's that easy. Unlimited premium data, iPhone 12 on us, and no trade-in required. You won't get that from anyone else. T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Activate up to 4K or video streams at 480p. Phone via 24 credits plus tax for well-qualified buyers. Contact us before canceling to continue bill credits or credit stop and balance on required finance agreement due. Up to two per account. T-Mobile is the largest 5G network and named fastest by Open Signal Awards in USA 5G User Experience Report July 2021. Details at T-Mobile.com. A okay. little Rick James on yeah, a funky no, flashback Friday. That's right. Rob Parker oh, and TJ Hushmanzada in for Chris Broussard on the Odd Couple. That's right. And we're coming to you live Last night. from hey. the Fox Sports Radio Studios. And TJ, let me tell you this. Dealing with a dead battery, head to AutoZone, America's number one battery destination. They offer free battery service like free battery testing and free battery charging. So the next time you're having battery trouble, head to AutoZone, your battery solution, and America's number one battery destination. Our telephone number, number that's right, 877-99 on Fox. And is Tom Brady right? The rules are slanted to help the offense and hurt the defensive players. We want to hear from you. And do you like it? Because you like offense and you'd rather see high-scoring offense rather than smash mouth defense. So, uh, TJ, I know we got a few calls. People want to jump in. Let's get to them. Well, you ready for the calls? Who who going to be first? Who we want to go to first? Let's go to Max in Georgia. Max, talk to us, baby. What's up, my guys? TJ, first, it's an honor to talk to you again. You know, I'm a Ravens fan, but I remember you cutting across the middle. You were one of the guys I feared the most because Chad was obviously – the focus, but you were underappreciated and underutilized. I just want to say that real quick. We appreciate you from a competitive standpoint. Having said that, I got to say, you know, it's a shame because it seems like we're going the NBA route where it's like offense is all that matters and forget the defensive mindset. And I just couldn't disagree more. I agree with Tom's perspective. You right. know, you've got guys like Lawrence Taylor, Deacon Jones, Mean Joe Green, Ronnie Lott. Probably uh, couldn't play Taylor, now. Brian Dawkins. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't forget those guys. You can't tell the NFL story without those guys. As well, before NFL Madden was the thing, we all forget it was NFL Blitz. It was all big hit. That was the thing. That's all I got. Yep. Hey, Max, appreciate it. Have a great weekend. 877-99 on Fox. In our neck of the woods, we got Kevin in Culver City. Talk to us, baby. Yo, what's up, fellas? Kev, what's up, what Kev? How are you? I'm doing great. That was the definition of funk you were playing. Um, that, 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 that song is awesome. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. Kev, are you off on Monday on Labor Day or are you working? Oh, yeah, you know it, you know it, you know it. kind of relaxing here. Nice. <laughs> um, I just want to say this before I get into my take. TJ Hushmanzada, don't let me get up here and act like I don't remember you saying Zach Wilson was going to be a franchise quarterback on Colin Coward. You were the first guy to come out and say, this guy is a superstar, so kudos to you. All those Thank other you, analysts, you were Thank the first th to get behind this guy. I'm always the first. Well, I'm not going to say I'm always. A lot of the times I'm the first, and they don't give me the credit. Somebody just steals what they hear me say, but that's how it is sometimes, baby. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah, you know the game. You're going to be running the NFL team one day. Um, getting into this take, I think the NFL, when the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes played the Rams in the Coliseum, they saw the ratings number they got from that, and they saw what they tapped into, and they said, we want more of this. And it kind of reminded me of the Warriors with the NBA. The Chiefs, like the Warriors in the NFL, they said, we, we want more offense. We want to build up more guys like Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, and we want to get more offense. So more offense means more ratings. Fans like touchdowns. And I think, you know, when we have Bill Belichick, you know, stopping the greatest show on turf, the fans didn't like that. They want more scoring, and I think I don't know how you couldn't. I don't know how you couldn't like more towards offensive players because people like the touchdowns. Yeah, I get that, but I I don't know. I've I've 
as a sports guy who's covered sports for 35 years, I can appreciate a, a, a no hitter or, or a shutout and a bl- brilliant pitching performance. I could appreciate yep. the defense uh, stopping the greatest show on turf. You know, not every game, out. though. Not no, every not every game. game. I didn't yeah. say that, but I don't want it to be where you can't touch anybody, TJ, and it's just a free for all. I mean, that's what we have in the NBA. We just haven't had the 200 to one to to 200 score. We haven't seen it yet, but we see. You see the the All Star games, right? You think that is that basketball? I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy that. I covered the Pistons in the 2004 when they won a championship. TJ, you remember that team and how great they were and how they got stops and how they played? I enjoyed that. It's it's the NBA. It's obviously they they want more offense. That that that's obvious because I mean it was games 83 to 78, right? right. You that know that type game. of stuff. In, in the NFL. The really good defensive teams, even in today's rules, the really good defensive teams, they're going to slow down these offenses. The really, they're just they're going to slow you down, so the rules aren't going to matter. It's it's the personal fouls that change the game that I don't like. Pass interference calls that change the game that I don't like, or the lack of pass interference. Yeah, calls. we see that a lot. I'm, and, I'm and with so, you. And so, you know, those calls that change the game are crucial because it's people livelihoods on the line coaches that you win a game or two another game or two you may not get fired <laughs> you lose you're out of work 877-99 on fox we got one in texas talk to us hey what's up guys how you Juan, so, what up uh, uh, i believe in defenses i'm i'm a 49er diehard fan and if you know 49ers have great defenses every time we've gone to the Super Bowl. I mean, think about it. You go from Bosa and you got all these defensive linemen that are just dominant and you can't touch a quarterback, it ruins the game. I would rather than see a 99-yard pass, which is great, don't get me wrong, but think of last, what was it, last year or two years ago when uh, Kinlaw makes the tackle in Seattle at the one-yard line and stops him? That that drove me insane. That's a a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth for me. Right. To make a big play in that uh, moment. There's no doubt about it. Well, uh, yeah. We appreciate the call. Thanks for calling the Odd Couple here on Fox Sports Radio. All right. We'll dive into this deeper with Fox Sports Rules uh, analyst Dean Blandino. He joins us next. But first. Fox Sports Radio has the best sports talk lineup in the nation. Catch all of our shows at foxsportsradio.com. And within the iHeartRadio app, search FSR to listen live. Well, Steve, you just mentioned the Orioles' record. At least they're consistent, all right? Consistently bad, that is. All right, it is the Yacht Couple, Fox Sports Radio, Rob Parker and TJ Houchmanzada in for Chris Broussard. We're coming to you live from the Fox Sports Radio studios. Let's welcome in our next guest, Dean Blandino, of course, the uh, Fox Sports Rules analyst. You can get him on Twitter at Dean Blandino. Dean, welcome to the Yacht Couple. How are you? I'm um, good, guys. How are you doing? doing great well mr tom brady came out and talked about in an interview about uh, how the rules favor the offensive players and uh aren't fair to the defensive players and and uh take take a listen to this d i think the one thing about football that's changed over the years which i think is really hard for someone like me who's played a long time to watch is like there it's not being taught the right way like a quarterback should only throw the ball to certain places because your receiver is in danger of getting hit for example when i used to play against ray lewis i wouldn't throw the ball to the middle (laughs) of the field because he would he, he'd go after you, and he would hit, like, and we didn't always have the biggest receivers, but he would hit them and knock them out of the game. And now any, every hard hit is a penalty on the defense. So I feel like they penalize defensive players for offensive mistakes. Dean, give me your take on Tom Brady. Is he Meshuggah? Is he crazy? Or is he on the money? <laughs> Interesting, Tom saying this kind of on the back end of his yes. career, not, yes. not, not in the middle of his career, but – Look, that's it's it's not it's not a crazy idea. The the league always looks at offensive production. They look at points. They look at those things because that drives fan interest and, and that's exciting to a lot of people that watch the game. There's also and a safety element. You know, as a receiver, as TJ knows coming across the middle, um, you're you're in a defenseless posture a lot of those times. So the rules were put in place to protect the, the contact to the head neck area. So I think. 
a lot of it has changed. The game has changed. The, the rules are, are more strict, and and a lot of those rules impact the defense. But but you know, I know from being in those competition committee meetings. Offensive and defensive balance is really important. You don't want, you know, 54, 51 games every week where the defense can't stop anyone. That's that's not exciting either. You need to get those stops. And, and so there's a little bit of that, but, but I think Tom might be, you know, I think he's trying to win some points with the defensive players right now on the back end of his career. Dean, when, what's, Dean what's going on? For those of that know, me and Dean spent a lot of time together watching games. Yeah, is that way. right? <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, I was there when TJ won <laughs> the, the Rams Patriots, and he won a big he he won a box pool when the Rams missed the field goal at the end of the game. Oh, was I? You remember how mad I was, Dean? Oh my God, the fact that they were going for it because you had it won, and then <laughs> I was and then pissed. They, yeah, and then and yeah. then they missed it, and you won, and yes. then they missed it. He had yes. it locked, and then they and then they went for the field goal because they were going to try the onside kick, and they missed a chip shot. Now, I just want to won. make sure that the million dollars you won, did you uh, report that to the IRS? TJ, I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, always. Always report everything. Take no chances. It's not worth it. Take no chances with the IRS, baby. That's right. No. So, Dean, as a former official, enlighten us and the audience on when they make these rule changes, how hard is it for an official to – really pay attention to the new rules and also enforce all the all the old rules that are more prominent than the new rules that are coming into play? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. And sometimes that gets lost in the whole process. And one of the things, you know, when I was a part of that group and meeting with the competition committee, you always try to give that perspective from an official's point of view to say, okay, how easy is this? this new rule that they're talking about, can this be officiated consistently? Because what we've been doing to officials for the last however many years is we keep adding things to their plate. So they gotta they got to learn new rules. they got to remember the, the, the rules that have been in place. We're adding, you know, use of helmet foul and all these other things. You've got replay. It's become it's, – it's an almost impossible job, and it's become even harder. And the scrutiny is so intense right now, the expectation – is perfection, which we know, we know that that's not achievable. So, so it is, it is something that you have to keep in mind that you can't keep throwing things on the official's plate because they get to see it once in real time from their angle, and then we get to we get to analyze it from eight different angles in slow motion, and that's that's not a that's not something that is, you know, you know, fair on the officials. It is the Odd Couple on Fox Sports Radio. Our guest, Dean Blandino, a Fox Sports rules analyst. And, Dean, I, I got to admit, I've been watching and covering the NFL since 1987. That's when I started in New York. And the one thing that drives me crazy now when I watch the league is the horrible pass interference calls that just change the game. Like, like I'm not so sure that they – the officials know what pass interference is and not, and the, the, the defense can can almost do anything. You know, anything you do, it seems to be a pass interference. Am I exaggerating? Is this something that the officials are trying to work on to figure it out exactly, or, or what's your take? Yeah, well, I don't think it's it's a very subjective call. I mean, there are subjective calls like holding and pass interference is one of those things because because it's not just contact. You know, is is the contact early? That's part of it. But then did that contact and the language in the book, it talks about did it significantly hinder the receiver's ability to make a play on the ball? And that is subjective. And, and it's such a big penalty in a lot of instances. You know, that's 30, 35 yards downfield. That's, that's a big, big penalty against the defense. So it, it could be a game absolute, changer, right? No question. No question. And, and it's one of those deals you always talk about, right, the underthrown ball and the receiver comes back and the DB really has no chance and you get the flag. So it's something the officials are working at. I know that, you know, from a from a, an accuracy standpoint, offensive pass interference is actually – NFL officials are less accurate on offensive pass interference than they are on defensive pass interference. Because mm. as DJ knows with the receivers, they're very good at that, that, that kind of subtle – you know, the little push, you know, trying to create space, and that becomes or, – or maybe even blocking downfield, creating that pick. Um, so that becomes hard on the officials. But it's definitely something they continue to work at. Dean, you know what it is. It's the we have a go route, 
some receivers push off on the shoulder. The good yep. receivers push off the hip. And exactly. we're side by side, and the next thing you know, we have a yard and a half of separation. <laughs> no, that's – I mean, Michael Irvin made a living doing that at, or at the hip. If you're below – like you said, because the official's eyes are going to be waist up, you know, and so if you can get that contact on the hip, that's less – it's less – perceptible and then you can get that Man, like you I said, teach my, that I separation. teach my receivers that that's what I, I teach yep. my receivers to do that Let's Dean, push yep. off at the hip Dean let me ask you about instant replay and I, I you know as much as we want to get it right and I get it everybody's at home watching a 70 inch screen and the slow sure. motion and they see it so I get why they would want to do it but I, I sometimes I just feel like if you got to watch it for 10 minutes to get it right, you probably shouldn't overturn it. Am, am I, you know, like, I just think That's it should it. be, it should be automatic. If you look at it and say, nope, you know, uh, that wasn't a fumble or it was, it should be that quick, not 10 minutes and slow. Uh, don't you think that's an issue? Uh, absolutely. You know, and look, no one has made, I made a career in instant replay. So, but, but I feel like we've gone too far. I think, you know, you, we've gotten away from, in 99, when we put replay in, it was to fix the clear and obvious mistake. And if it's clear and obvious, the three right. of us should look at it once, and we should say, that's wrong. But we're not doing that. Like you said, I mean, I watch, and it's all sports. I watch the NBA playoffs in the last two minutes, and we're looking at these plays, and it, it's taken forever, the NFL. So I think the, the leagues have to continue to say, what is the standard? It's clear and obvious. It's game-changing plays. We're not there to look at every eight-yard catch. And you, um, Dean, let yeah. me say, let me tell you this. And, and you said this in all sports. In baseball, will they keep the tag on the on the guy sliding in the second base, and his foot comes up for a millisecond yep. and it's slowed down? That's not what instant replay is supposed to be. Am I right? It's like, not. No, it's not. But it but it changes the game because now. The shortstop or the second baseman knows, hey, I got to keep my, my, my glove on him, right. on this runner. And they weren't doing that in the past. And you have, and you have officials that are officiating differently because of replay. Hey, I'm not going to rule that an incomplete pass because the defense picked it up, and I don't want to take that return away from them, so I'm going to let it play out. And once you start doing that, you can take it too far. Now you have officials that are indecisive on the field, and that's not positive either. So I think there's going to come a point where we got to say, let's get back to square one, clear and obvious. Uh, but, you know, coaches, they want, every, they want to get everything right, and for obvious reasons, I don't blame them. Um, fans too, but it, it's, it's something that it's, I think we're going to, it's going to come to a head at some point. No doubt. All right. Uh, Dean Blandino, thank you so much for joining us here on the Odd Couple. Of course, Fox Sports Rules Analyst. You can get him on Dean, Twitter. Your time. At Dean Blandino. Thanks a lot. All right, guys. Thanks All for having right. me. Yep, have a great weekend. One of the biggest rivalries in baseball is about to take center stage. That's right. You already heard TJ going crazy, but uh, we'll get to that next. It is the Odd Couple with TJ Hushmanzada in for Chris Broussard right here on Fox Sports Fox Sports Radio has the best sports talk lineup in the nation. Catch all of our shows at foxsportsradio.com. And within the iHeartRadio app, search FSR to listen live. At Lamps Plus, we believe your home should be a celebration of you. As the nation's largest lighting retailer, Lamps Plus offers an incredible selection of lighting, furniture, and home decor that are sure to bring out your unique style. We help customers just like you every day beautify their indoor and outdoor spaces and at the flip of a switch, see their home in a whole new light. Because if you can dream it, you should have it. There are infinite possibilities to bring your home to life at Lamps Plus, including custom order on-demand pieces that match your personal taste and color preference. Select from over 50,000 styles to express yourself from top designer brands, including Feiss, known for beautiful and timeless decorative chandeliers, pendants, bath lights, and outdoor fixtures to accent and bring some great warmth to your home. For the latest sale up to 50% off selected designs, go to lampsplus.com slash iHeart now. That's lampsplus.com slash iHeart for up to 50% off. Shop Lamps Plus and let yourself shine. 
Geico knows there are many reasons why you ride. From the exciting adventure of the daily commute to the peace of mind that Geico always has your back with 24-7 access to claim service and legendary customer service. But Pamela Mund had one reason in particular. My skin is extremely averse to most fabrics, except for the soft, buttery feeling of leather. Thankfully, I found my clan of leather lovers in the biking community. It's been life-changing. Geico Motorcycle. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. So there you are, just lying in bed, trying to sleep when a thought crosses your mind. How much is my car worth? And pretty soon you're staring at the ceiling, wondering, can I get more at the dealer on a trade-in? Or should I sell it somewhere else? Well, rest easy, sleepyhead, because you can get a real offer at CarMax.com. Faster than you can hit the snooze button. And it's good for seven days, so there's plenty of time to sleep on it. CarMax. Real offers. Real fast. It is the Odd Couple on a funky flashback Friday. Rob Parker, TJ Houshmanzada in for Chris Broussard. And we're coming to you live from the Fox Sports Radio studios. And do you think it's okay to drive stone? The truth is your reaction time slow way down when you're high. You not only put yourself in danger, but everyone around you. So stop kidding yourself. That's right. If you're using marijuana in any form, do not get behind the wheel. It's real simple. And if you feel different, you drive different. Drive high, get a DUI paid for by NHTSA. Oh, yeah. TJ. Uh, you the, know what uh, I need next break? I need some, I need some, uh, I need some cameo, baby. That's what my mama used to listen to when she what, was driving. What, word baby. up? All what else cameo? Candy. Candy, yes. It's like candy. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) My mama probably hate me for saying this, but she shouldn't have been been getting drunk like that. Look at that. Stop it. (laughs) Stop talking about that. All right. Hey, some some baseball fans might be getting drunk over the weekend. As the Giants and Dodgers, TJ, in a big series, we heard Steve DeSager earlier in the program, they're like identical, right? They scored, both scored 68 runs. They both won eight games out of the 16 they played. They're tied. And here's the big thing, TJ, uh, uh, talking about this series. Because you want to win the division. The difference between winning the division and being a wild card is that if you're the wild card, you play a one-game playoff. So can you imagine if you're the Dodgers, you could play a one-game playoff against maybe the Reds or maybe the Padres. And if you lose, your season is over. You You know what I'm saying? So that's why the stakes are real high trying to win the division. It's almost – they need to fix this. They need to go to how the NBA does it. Best record. You can win your division, but we're going to seed you by the best record. This makes no sense that the Dodgers and the Giants are the two best teams in baseball, and one of them could quite possibly right. be eliminated immediately. They With one game, to, which, which they is so different fix. from baseball, right? Let me ask you this. Like, they couldn't – I mean, they can do what they want to do, but they probably wouldn't. Like, they need to change that now. I, I think what happened, and and the um, I think what happened is they don't want this to turn into like the NBA or the NHL, where more than half the league makes the playoffs. Because then you you nullify the season, you make it not be important. TJ, you know this in the NBA, you could easily say, "I'm going to wait till uh, after the Super Bowl, right, to start watching the NBA." Right, you could just say, uh, "Who cares about games in October or November or early but baseball, December?" But baseball is so different because in in the NBA, like when you have a great team, you can just turn it on. Baseball doesn't work like that. Right, it doesn't work. You can't tell Max Scherzer, oh, "We're going to sandbag this game." I just want you to go in there and go five innings. And be ready, right? No, no. And, no. and so it's it's a completely different game. These dudes in baseball, they're going out there competing. 162 games, which is a ton. Think about that for you. And, like, like this I is can't. the one reason I know you can't because to play that many games, people have no idea. Like, even football, now 17, but 16, and you play once a week, there's a way lot, a lot more practice. But baseball, you play every day. When you see those guys 
in the old days when guys used to play 155 games a year, you know, when you're in St. Louis in the summertime, you know, with the heat beating down on you or in Texas, right, in the middle of the summer, it's incredible. It's a tough game, but I – I don't, I don't believe it will ever get like the NBA or even the NFL where you have half of the teams make it. Even if they did, it's when it's the playoffs, everybody's watching. So why not let half of the uh, teams in the because, league make it? Because They're, we're going to watch. Do, what if you do that? Why, you know, I don't have to pay attention. I don't have to go to the games. Like baseball is a lot of games, and you don't want to make them irrelevant. And I think that's the difference. You know, like, like you could do that. In four, if there were only 16 baseball games, uh, it would be a totally different animal. Am I right? Oh, there, oh yeah. You couldn't even get a Dodger ticket. Would you agree with me? You, you wouldn't be able to get, get a Dodger ticket. You couldn't get in a rhythm as a player. You're like, right. hold up, season's over. <laughs> the same, right. If you only played 16 games, so – because it's timing and rhythm and all that other they stuff. They got to do something about this, man, because I promise you, if the Dodgers don't, oh, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, you got because this great season going down the drain, even though we've been good for years upon years upon years. The Giants are finally back. How do you think they feel like, come on, man, Major League Baseball, they got to do something about this because these are two of the best. I mean, even look at the Padres because they just so happen to be in the National League West. They might not even make the playoffs. And they no, have one of right. the better teams in baseball. Something's not right. Yeah. It, it, Who don't want to see Tatis and Machado play? Um, no, everybody wants to see them. It'll be, it'll be the – the interesting part is you don't want – like with the wild cards, that's why they eliminate one of them going to get knocked out because they don't want it to be – they don't want it the, – the, they want the division winners to have earned something for playing 162, and I do get that and not letting the wild cards uh, be able to, to get in when they haven't played well all year and then ultimately could, could get all the way to the World Series. So I do understand that to a certain extent. Uh, but it's going to be disappointing for one of those two teams because the Giants were the first team to 70 wins. The Dodgers have turned it on, and it'll be interesting. But this weekend, uh, by the Bay, this will be interesting because – the Giants are using bullpens to pitch two of the three games, so the Dodgers have an advantage. But we'll keep an eye on that all weekend long. Our number two of the Odd Couples coming up next. Stick and stay. America! Not all lines are created the same, but Clinique's most brilliant de-ager line yet outsmarts them all. I'm talking about new Clinique Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Serum. Designed with a panel of scientists and dermatologists, this cutting-edge formula is super concentrated with anti-aging specialists, including an expert blend of peptides, potent retinoid, and hyaluronic acid concentrate, and clinically proven to give you 32% visible reduction in stubborn lines in 16 weeks. Shop now at Clinique.com to receive 15% off Clinique Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Serum with code SMARTSERUM. That's code SMARTSERUM. Don't miss this chance to take your financial fitness to the next level. M1 Finance gives you all the tools you need to grow your wealth without charging any management fees. So you can put more of your money where it counts. Right now, you can get $30 for depositing $1,000 into a new M1 Finance investing account after approval. Visit m1finance.com slash oddcouple. That's M1 with the numeral one to get this bonus and start making your own smart money moves. Investing involves risk, including the risk of loss. M1 Finance member FINRA SIPC. Terms and conditions apply. Hey, do you love a good story? Great. Then you got to check out the Hashtag Storytime podcast. Each episode brings you the craziest, creepiest, and cringiest stories from YouTube, TikTok, Reddit, and beyond. My story is about the time that I was broken up with at the 9-11 memorial. Uh, twice. Look, the internet is a dumpster full of stories, and I, your host, Will McFadden, dive in headfirst, sift through the flaming trash, and bring you nothing but treasures. Listen to all 21 episodes of Hashtag Storytime now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.